for Asgard. Um, what I'm gonna talk about um, is like what exactly is considered an incel. Like, what is it? Like, what is an incel? Um, I, I think for most people's um, definition is it's probably someone that we can say is highly unattractive and um, just can't get a and can't get a female. Just unattractive, can't get a female. Unattractive based on could be heights, looks, you know, size, and they can't get a female. Whether or not they try to or not, it's kind of blurry. So I'm asking, like, what exactly is an incel? Is an incel, let's say you're attractive and you've never even tried to talk to any female. And let's say you're, you're, you're 40 years old. Are you still considered an incel? Let's say you're attractive. Um, let's say six foot. You're, you're decent looking, good looks, decent, good looks. I mean, you're not ugly, but you're good look, good to look at. Um, you're fit, go to the gym, you play sports, you know, you're, um, you're not a, you're not a, you know, uh, a coward. Like you, you have, you have, you have a lot of pride within you. You're bold, you're, you're confident, but you've never, ever approached or approach the female ever, and you're forty years old. Let's say is is that still considered an incel? <sighs> let's say. Let's see. Let's see. You are attractive, like very attractive, and you choose not to. Like you're confident in in other things, but you just, it's it's like. People enjoy playing basketball, but they don't like playing soccer. People like to paint, but they don't like to to draw. But let's say you're 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 attractive. You you can speak, you're confident, but you choose not to approach a woman. Are you still considered incel? Let's say you're attractive. Attractive. No, attractive, decent looking. You know, you're not like hideous, but you're decent looking. And um, you choose to just... Uh, well, not choose, but you're introverted. And you just want to... You just want to be to yourself all the time. Like, you don't even want to socialize with anyone like you just want to stick to yourself go to work do your thing you know you, you look you dress well you look confident you look good you don't look like raggedy ann or you don't look dirty you, you don't look like a you know like a 90s geek and you choose not to approach you just want to be to yourself are you still is would that person still be considered an incel I think for for the majority or it may not be the right word but I think overall um people the 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 the, the perspective of an incel again 
is someone who is unattractive and can't get females. They may have tried, but they're just unattractive. They look like they don't look approachable. They don't they don't fit in. They look like a 90s geek. They they don't look like anything. They're they're they you, you know, they just do things that are just that other people during this time don't like. That they don't find cooler or whatever. Th- that person would be considered an incel by the by the majority, by the overall, the 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 main perspective. But but again, what if you're um decent looking, you're fit, you go to the gym, look good, you play basketball, you know, you you you're you you you're a coach, you're a basketball coach. You've led a team to championships, uh, but you you work, you know, you're, you're doing your thing. You're you're very independent. You don't really play video games. You just work and you know keep things you know simple. But you choose not to approach. You choose not to even try, not to attempt. I mean, you look, you look, you look. You look at females. You look. You check them out. I mean, you're, you're. I mean, you're not. You're not gay. But you look. But you just don't want to approach. You don't want to engage. You don't even say hi. You don't say hello. You don't say bye. You you, you just do your thing. You're confident, good looking, but you do not approach women or girls, whatever. Is that person still considered an incel? And a lot of you would be, would, would, you know, uh, I think a lot of people, they could only see one way. Like they only see one way and that's it. It's like going through a tunnel. You have many ways you can go, but they only see that one way only. That only one way. People will will think because you're attractive and you know good looking. You're you're decent looking. You're fit. They'll think they'll think you you you're, you're um you don't have trouble. You think they'll think you're you're um. You can get women. You're you're married or whatever. You have a girlfriend, but they never think that. Hey, maybe I just don't want to approach. Maybe I just don't want to try. For whatever reason, there 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 are, there are many reasons why someone doesn't want to approach. And again, it's not because of of any kind of sexuality thing. They love women. They check them out, but they just don't want to approach. Isn't that possible? But would that guy still be considered an incel? I hope this makes sense. I hope I'm not just all over the place. I know I'm trying to get my thoughts so I can say things properly. With me, I guess I wasn't going to do this, but I think to to get the whole perspective of things, um, I think you know, with me, um I think I'm decent looking, good looking, uh I'm fit, you know. Um I think I, I think I walk with confidence. You know, I I think looking at me you wouldn't you wouldn't think incel. Like I don't think it would ever come to mind. Um but um I, i'm i'm very selective and picky and i i don't want a lot of people near me i i don't want anyone if i if i don't want you near me 
I don't want you near me. And I don't want you near me. I'm very selective. Same thing with women. Like I'm very, very picky and selective. All it takes is like a minute to to study you. And if you behave a certain way, I don't want nothing to do with you. I, I already know where this is going. And 10 times out of 10, I'm right. Not to be gloating about it. I'm not trying to boast about it or sound ignorant or arrogant. But this is true for me. If you behave a certain way, I already know this is not going to work. I already know your personality. Your personality is going to clash with mine. It just wouldn't work. But anyways, you know, um, again, fit. I, I, I believe I walk with some confidence and bold and et cetera. But in the last maybe six years, uh, last six years, I've only approached... I only approached one person. And that was just last year in six years. <laughs> um, you, you know, I, I, I see some at the gym. And, and I think about it. And then I just say, eh, whatever. I, I don't bother. I don't, I don't. Like, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what it, I don't know. I, I, I do know what it is, but it's like, eh, to me, it's like, whatever. Like, I don't know. I, I, I guess I've just gotten so used to being on my own that trying to seek someone else is like, it's, it's like, What's the point now? Like, what is the point? Like, I, I'll think about it. And then I just... I figure it's, it's a waste of time. Like, what's the point? And then even if... I have this in my head, though. Even if I do approach and things go well. There is a 99% chance I, I don't even I won't even move forward with it. Cause I guess I'm just so used to being on my own. And and again, part of and I also again there's a lot about me, but I'm, it's like I hate people. Therefore I'm very selective. Therefore I, I feel like if I do move forward with, with someone, I, I feel like I'm going to miss, I guess, being on my own. Because I, I just, everything I've done has been on my own. And I have proven, at least to myself, that I don't need anyone else to, to carry me or to, to be around me, do anything. I've done everything on my own. Nearly everything. So to me, again, it's, it's that I'm not gay or anything like that. To me, it's like, is there any point? Part of it is like, is there any point? Part of it is like, I'm, I'm sort of lazy. I, I get social fatigued. You know, just by observing these people, it's like, they do some stupid stuff. I already can sense their personality, their energy. It's going to be a waste. And it's very selective. Like, very selective. And within the six years, six years, there's only been three women that, that I, I've actually, you know, felt something for. Like, I actually felt, like you know, I, I didn't really speak to them, but it's like, I don't know. I, I just get a good vibe about them. This one, one of them, I was, this 
one girl, maybe a year ago, last year. Man. My goodness, man. She was just... Whew. I thought about it. I thought about it. I had a chance where I could have spoke to her. But... I just didn't want to. Like I, I just didn't want to do it. I could have. And again, it's not about being rejection rejected. Like I, I could care less about that. It's not even about that. It's just I could have approached her and talked to her. <clears throat> but I just didn't want to. Just didn't do it. And, and again, I could have been because I was lazy. Uh, there's no there's no clear answer to why I didn't, but I didn't. Second one, um, again, I'm not going to say where they're from, but the second one, I actually did approach, took actually, took over maybe three months to do it. Um, but this one was more like I was uncertain, trying to like trying to figure it out. I was uncertain, trying to figure things out, looking for hints or clues or all that stuff. Um and I'm like, hey, what the hell? Just do it. Go ahead. And before I did it, like I was like say, I gotta say things like this. I gotta be a little funny, little witty with it. Then then I go and do it. Everything that I practiced up to that point, I don't even do it. I I did it in the most laziest Weakest way ever. Like seriously, didn't even didn't really try. Actually, I didn't even really try. And again, I, I sometimes I rehearse what I'm gonna say. I got I'm gonna say it like this, kind of be a little witty, you know, just add some flavor to it. Then I step up. All what I practice for, I don't do it at all. I guess as I'm doing it, it's like, I just, it's like, yeah. And then there's this other one, man. <laughs> oh, man. Unfortunately, apparently, she, I guess, yeah, she's, she's married. But damn. Whew. Man. The vibes I get from her. Oh, my goodness, man. It, it's. Again, I'm saying I'm very selective, but with this one, man. First time I saw her, I, I just like in the cartoons, I, I just couldn't speak. Couldn't speak. And every time I see her, I just, sh I just shut down, man. I this 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 never happens. Every every time I see her, I shut down. I'm I'm again I'm always checking her out and like damn man. Pretty lady, very, very pretty. God damn. And her that's just a man, her body's like wow man. Man. Oof. Man, <laughs> again, I'm never like that to anyone. I'm, again, very selective. Very, very selective. But she, she's like my, I don't know. I guess my crush. I, I guess she was like my crush for a while. And then I guess eventually, you know, just gets old and I tend to move on. But again, every time I see her, it's like, wow. But anyways, yeah, so that's my little story. Last six years, only one approach, actually, one approach. Six years, one approach. Six years, one approach, three feelings. 
and um, yeah. So would I be considered an incel though? Let's let's say y y you just don't try for whatever reason. Like you just don't care. Like, am I still an incel? Six years, only one. And I don't really approach. I don't really try. Am I still an incel? Another story, actually. Today at the gym. Well, not just today, but there's this one, um, this one chick. Again, when I when I go to the gym, when I go to the gym, you know, I, I just stick to myself. I don't, I'm not one of those people who talks anyway. Anyway, just do my thing and move on. But I'm at the gym. I'm always, I'm always looking, you know, I'm always checking things out. I can see a, 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 a feminina from like when she enters the gym, from when she leaves the gym, when she's on the treadmill. I, I see them. I, I, I see them like all the time. I'm always looking. I have the mirror I can look, take glimpse, act like I'm not looking, but I'm actually looking. But anyways, there's one female for the last maybe four times that I've seen her. It's maybe the four times. The first time I, I noticed right away as I'm walking in, into the gym area, I, I just seen her glaring at me. Right ahead. I seen her glaring right at me. Noticed it. As I'm walking in, she's sitting there in the thing. Right away, she's, she's, she has her eyes on me. Another day, she's going up the stairs. I'm coming into the gym again. I notice it again. Then today, she's, uh, she's a trainer, apparently. She's a trainer, also works out there. Um... Um, I was going to say, oh yeah, yeah, so I'm working out, I see her in the mirror behind me, and twice, tw t two times at least, maybe three times, I noticed her checking me, three times, three times, so I, I, again, I'm not a slob, I'm not fat. I think I'm pretty fit. Got some good arms, good pecs. I think I got some good shoulders, all that stuff. So I'm not like a, a nerd geek or a slob. Again, I'm fit. I got it. I, I think I got it. I noticed her three times today checking me. Maybe four times. I think as I was, as I was leaving, she might have been still checking me. So, anyways, yeah. So, uh, for me to see that, I, I go yay. Now the question is, would I approach? I think about it. Um, from what I observe, again, I, I'm more of an introvert. I like to be kept in my own little space. Don't want to, again, very selective. Don't want to be around every peep, every person. And with her, she, I guess she, she's, from what I've seen, um, she, she's quiet, but she's a people person. She's quiet, a people person, and that wouldn't mix well. Because then I would have to be around other people and I want nothing to do with them. So again, am I an insult? Am I picky, arrogant, ignorant? Am I an insult? I mean, that's... I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know. Again, the, 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 the overall perspective of an insult. 
would be a slob, very unattractive, a nerd, geeky, just an outcast. Well, me, I can say I'm, I, okay, for, for, an, for the overall perspective, overall perspective of an insult, I think they, they, I think society makes them an outcast. Where they can't get out of that box. Whereas for me, I, I think I'm a bit both. I'm an outcast by choice because, again, I hate people. I'm very selective. Uh, I don't have that herd mentality. So if I see a lot of people that, for example, going left, I'm either going to stay still or I'm going to go another direction. Not just right. I can go east. I can go maybe west. I can go down. I can go up. I can go crooked, I can go around, curly, I go various ways. If everyone's going left, I'm going to go an entirely different way. That's just who I am. But at the same time, it's like I have my foot in. In my perspective, I have my foot in in, in, in between of being an outcast and and. Being in this, I guess, society. But at the same time, I'm not fully following people, if that makes sense. But I'm still doing what I want to do. Hopefully that makes sense. But anyways. Are you an incel? Or am I an incel? Are they an incel? If you choose not to approach... At let's say 32 plus years old, 40 years old, 50 years old, whatever the case may be, and you choose not to approach, choose to rarely try, very selective. You've only approached one person, one girl in six years. Are you still considered an insult? You're you're decent looking, attractive, you're fit. You're you're a you're a basketball champion, mind you. A basketball champion. Find me a geek, a slob geek that is winning basketball championships. People were gonna say you're crazy, you're weird, you're this, but you know. And to me, it's because they have this one-dimensional way of thinking. It's either you're this or you're that. You're this or you're that. They want you to be this, but if you're not this, whether it's, you know, being an insult or being this or whatever, a, a, a motto, whatever, then you're that. You're crazy. You're 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 weird. Something's wrong with you. You need help. You need therapy. Whatever the case may be. But for me, I mean, I have a choice. I, I I've I have a choice. All the ones that I've seen, I could have approached. But I know if even if I do approach. And I get a, a number. Chances are I, I probably just, just give. I just probably don't won't pursue it. And people will probably say, "Oh, you're gay." But this again. That's just again one dimensional way of thinking, guys. Sometimes you just. I don't know. There's so many reasons and, and uh, possibilities of why certain things happen. Why the way I am. Again, bottom line is this. And I'm kind of repeating myself, but very sele- I'm very selective. Very picky. I hate people. You know. 
I observe people, and if you behave a certain way, I know it's not going to work. I'm judgmental. That's, if you're observant, then you're judgmental. You can't, you can't separate the two. But anyways, for Asgard.